Here we have Captain America and the Avengers for the Game Boy. This is one of the surprisingly few Avengers games that's been released over the years. You have no doubt seen or played the arcade version of this game, which was a four player Final Fight style beat em up, much like the arcade versions of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and The Simpsons. And yes, I am aware I've just used three different games as a reference there, but never mind. Anyway, the game was ported to just about every console ever, which of course you know as you've watched my live stream of the SNES and NES versions. Plug! And this includes our old friend the Nintendo Game Boy. Due to the limited hardware, the game was expectedly slightly cut down. However, nowhere near as much as expected. I was thinking it was going to be more similar to the NES version, which is actually nothing like the arcade or 16-bit counterparts. Whereas in fact, it's really somewhere in the middle of the two versions. It is still a beat em up and follows the same story as the arcade, with the Red Skull generally being a bastard and forcing the Avengers to have to stop him. You also get to choose from the same four characters from the 16 bit and arcade games, as opposed to the two that you only get to play as in the NES version. And then you do play through the same stages as the arcade and 16 bit versions as well, including the flying stages. It's actually pretty impressive. The only real difference here is that you only have a 2D plane, meaning you can't walk up and down like you can in the arcade. And there are more platforming sections, whereas the arcade had none, and it actually works pretty well. Graphically, the game is good, and the characters are large on screen, and you can easily tell which of the four Avengers you are. The backgrounds are well drawn, and animation wise, it's okay. There's not too much going on, but it's smooth enough. You do get a fair bit of slowdown when there are a few things going on at once, but again, for the Game Boy, that is to be expected. Something that is a bit of a shame is that all of the characters are exactly the same apart from the way they look. They can each punch, jump, and jump kick, and they have a projectile attack. So Cap throws his shield, Hawkeye uses his bow, and Vision and Iron Man have energy attacks. But there's actually no difference between any of them. They all do the same damage, so choosing your character just depends on who you like best. It would have been nice to have a few specials thrown in there, but this is the same for every version of the game, bar the NES. Actually controlling the team is easy enough, and they're pretty responsive. However, the hit detection can be pretty iffy, and it can be hard to take the generic bad guys out without taking some damage yourself. However, when you learn about the jump kick and spam that, it makes it a little easier. Sound and music wise, the game does the job. The music can be a bit high pitched, but it doesn't really grate too much. Overall, this is a good game. It's not going to break any records, and it's probably even more enjoyable than the 16 bit versions, although this obviously lacks the multiplayer aspect. But for a handheld, and considering the surprising lack of Avengers-based games, this is not a bad one to add to the collection.